Like, do I start now? Yeah. This is what it means? Yeah. That's what action means, yeah. All right. Hey, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. I'm Javier Fuenmayer, and this is a Magic Review. One of the best ones, by the way. This guy is a master at reviews. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited because today we're gonna look at the Nexus wallet. It drops today, it drops today. So if you go out to your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer for $110, you can pick this up. It'll get shipped to you this week, provided uh, they didn't all sell out during the pre-sale. Possible, I don't know if it's possible because there's been a lot of buzz about this. In fact, so much buzz, I teased this wallet over in the member section a week ago because I've had this for a week, been playing with it for a week. So if you still haven't joined the member section, that would be another good reason to join because we do all kinds of fun stuff over there. And if you'd like to learn more about it, stick to the end of this video and I'll tell you exactly how to join. But before we start, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, especially if you enjoy content like this. If you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, do me a favor right now before it starts, just go down there, click the subscribe button. It takes two seconds and that's the best way to thank me, to encourage me, to keep going, to keep making these reviews for you. All right, the Nexus wallet, Javier Fuemer, Murphy's Magic Supplies. This is Javier's first release, uh, his first release ever. And you're already familiar with Javier. You already know him. Uh, you know him because he's pretty much the spokes guy for Murphy's whenever they do uh, their explanation videos. Uh, Javier's the guy that does all the teaching. He's fun to watch. He's engaging. And this wallet, this first release doesn't disappoint. So first, let's talk about what the wallet is. What is the wallet? What's it going to do? Because, you know, I get that question asked a lot over here on the channel. What is the best magic wallet? Well, there's no such thing as best, especially when it comes to wallets, because uh, they're all different. And so you have to decide what do you want your wallet to do? What do you want your wallet to do? Do you want it to catch on fire? Do you want it to do peaks? Do you want to do card to wallet? Do you want to do mind reading? Do you want to have a holdout? Do you want to have a himber? You have to decide for yourself what features you want built in to your wallet. So what are the features of the Nexus? The Nexus has a couple of different features. Number one, it's slimline. It's a slimline wallet, which means it's not a billfold wallet, right? It's not a billfold wallet, but it does have a place for you to put cash. In fact, it has two, which is pretty awesome. A lot of these slimline wallets today uh, don't have an extra place for cash, uh, or especially they don't have two. And even a lot of magic wallets don't have a billfold. So that's something I always look for with a magic wallet. Is there some place I can actually put money? So now the two magical features of the wallet, the first of which is it has a peak. It has a full peak, full peak, no, no partial peaks, full clear peak. And it has a card to wallet feature. But the wallet isn't limited to those two features. Uh, the wallet also comes with an almost four hour instructional video. Four hours! And in that four hours, Javier is going to teach you a ton of magic. The third feature of the wallet is it has an ID change gimmick. So there's an actual gimmick that comes with the wallet. It's separate to the wallet. You don't need to carry it with you. You can, you can add it, but it is a separate trick. Um, it's a trick where uh, you can show one ID in the window and then in the wave of your hand, it transforms into a second ID. And then you can make the original ID appear from anywhere. The fourth feature of the wallet is the money clip on the back. The money clip on the back can be used, yes, to hold bills, but if you take it out and turn it over, there's an out to lunch feature built in as well. So that's four, four tricks, a peak, a card to wallet, the ID transpo effect, and out to lunch, all built together in a slim line contemporary wallet. All right, let's say you pay your $110 to your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get a nice hard shell box. Inside that, you're gonna get the wallet. You're gonna get the gimmick, the ID gimmick, and you'll get the stuff that you need to make the gimmick work. Now there is a little bit of setup that you'll have to do with the gimmick. It's not just gonna work with a driver's license. You're gonna have to go out and fabricate some things and make it unique because we don't have your driver's license. It has to be unique to you and your driver's license. So you will have to do some arts and crafts. How are the angles on this? Um, I would say the angles are no different than other 
wallets that do these same features. So if I were gonna compare the Peak to another wallet that you might be familiar with, uh, it's probably similar to the Viper uh, as far as Peak goes. Uh, the card to wallet, I would say it's similar to other card to wallets that use a pocket where the card pops out of another pocket. So I don't think the technology it certainly isn't new to the wallet, and I don't think Javier is boasting that it is new. I think what Javier has been saying all along in his video is he's taken the best elements from his favorite wallets and put them together. Can the wallet be inspected? Um, I think the wallet could be held. I think you could definitely lay the wallet in somebody's hands and have them hold on to it. I think with careful guidance, they could remove cards from it, but I wouldn't hand the wallet out and say, here, examine this and make sure there's nothing funny about it. I wouldn't do that. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? You know, like I said, this video is almost four hours long. It's true, four hours long and no filler. No filler, no fluff. Uh, everything in this is uh, just as strong as the next. And Murphy's Magic makes great videos. Uh, you've, if you've seen Murphy's Magic's uh, explanations videos before, especially with Javier, you can expect the exact same HD quality. Everything's well mic'd, no background music that gets in the way, and uh, you're gonna get all the shots and angles you need. As far as what they're gonna teach you, you'll get an introduction, and then Javier's gonna go over all the wallet features. And then he's gonna give you a bunch of different peaks. He'll show you the basic peak. He'll show you how to get a peak as the wallet's going into the top jacket pocket. He'll give you another pocket peak. He'll give you a peak that you can use when you're wearing a hoodie. He'll give you a peak that you can use as the wallet goes back into your pants. He'll even give you a peak using the spectator to get your peak. He'll give you a peak that you can get as you lift the wallet off the table. And all of that, all of that is the first hour. That all of that will take you to the first hour. Then after that, he's gonna give you the basic routine, the standard Nexus wallet routine. Uh, and then he's gonna cover the zippered compartment. So on the top of the wallet, there is a zippered compartment where your card to wallet comes out of. And I would say again, this is similar to other wallets where your card gets slid into one pocket and then comes out the zippered compartment. Now the wallet doesn't come with a glide. Uh, I wish it did, but it didn't. But he will talk to you a lot about making a homemade glide. Then he's got a trick where you can make a ring appear in an envelope inside of that zippered compartment. He'll do a signed card to envelope, and then he'll talk to you about making your own homemade envelope. The next trick is probably my favorite. It's called Lucky Bill, and this is where their signed card appears inside of not just the zippered compartment, but inside of a folded bill that you kept inside of your zippered compartment. Then he's gonna cover all the out to lunch features that you can use with the money clip. And then he's gonna move to the ID transpo trick. And let me just say, you will get full performances of all of these effects. So it's not just uh, studio performances. These are uh, shot in the real world outside. Um, he's gonna talk about how to build the ID transpo gimmick. He'll give you the explanation for it, and then he'll give you an ID to pocket routine, and that takes you to the third hour mark. In the last hour, you're gonna get a bunch of just extra surprises. You're gonna get tricks that were submitted by Titanus, tricks submitted by Lloyd Barnes and Craig Petty. One of those is a coin to ID window effect. He's gonna give you a bill switch, a billet switch, uh, a really quick Himber routine, a Sharpie production from the wallet, a card steal, a vanishing ring from the wallet, plus a bunch of other additional ideas and thank yous. All right, so is it well made? Um, it is synthetic leather, which means it's not real leather. And I think that was one of, uh, that was one of the drawbacks for me. I think for $110 price point, I think the price point implies that it would be real leather. Usually when I see a, a wallet that's over a hundred bucks, it's, it's real leather. And who knows, maybe they might do a rerun of these in real leather. I think that'd be nice because I think the wallet is good enough uh, that a lot of people would want to keep this for a while. And certainly uh, authentic leather is gonna last you a long time. I haven't had any trouble with this yet. Um, I've had it with me for a couple of weeks now and it's held its shape and it's doing just fine. All right, so really quick, let's go over the wallet and show you every single pocket so that you can see exactly uh, what you're gonna get. Uh, you have this ID window on the front and you can see I've chosen to put my business card in there. Uh, you're also gonna get three additional pockets here on the front. Now I know you can only visibly see two uh, with a red card and a blue card, but there's one more pocket 
right underneath there. So you can stick three cards, three credit size cards in the front. The back side has two more pockets. One of those is an actual working pocket. Um, and you're gonna get this money clip. Now the money clip is reversible. Uh, the other side of this is a solid silver clip. You can use that to store your bills, which is great. Uh, or you can use this little black elastic thing to do an out to lunch feature, which is pretty awesome. Or if you want, you can just slide this entire thing out and not use it at all. So you got a lot of options there. The top has a zippered compartment and the zippered compartment is where your card to wallet comes from. You could store bills in there uh, if you want. They, they shouldn't, you know, nothing's gonna happen to them, but I wouldn't store coins in there. I know some people have asked, will it, will it hold coins? I mean, sure, and they probably won't fall out, but I think, I just, that's not the way I do magic. I don't know. I don't do coin magic. Um, I'm, I'm sure you could put coins in there. Maybe if you wanted to slide it out and just dump the coins out at the beginning of your trick and just leave them off to the side and, and put them back in there just as storage, probably. Um, I'm not going to store coins in mine I, just because I don't store coins in my wallet to begin with. The, another place that you can put uh, bills is right here where you can see I have this bill. So there's another vertical pocket up here and that's where I've chosen to keep uh, my bills and this is great. I wish more of the slimline wallets had this feature and I didn't even notice that feature at first um, I saw it uh, later uh, and I was shocked and I was like, oh my goodness. There's another There's another pocket. So lots of pockets on this. Uh, that's what I love I love the bill clip on the back the out to lunch feature is awesome as well uh, This wallet really packs a punch so let's keep going with this review. Pocket space, uh, let me show you what it looks like compared to some of my other wallets. So here it is side by side with my shadow wallet. Here it is next to the alias wallet. And here it is next to the wiser wallet. How much practice does it require? Um, again, I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. Uh, the tricks themselves aren't any different than other peaks or other card to wallets that are out there on the market. So if you're already familiar with Viper uh, and you've done that peak before, I mean, this, it's, this is going to same. Plus, I think Javier is going to offer a lot of additional teaching that I think would apply even to the Viper wallet. So I think he's got some great ideas there. Uh, the card to wallet, again, is going to be similar to others on the market, especially ones that involve back pocket, a glide, a load, opening up a zipper. You know how those go. How much setup and reset is there? I mean, the only thing you're gonna have to do, like I said, is build the ID transpo gimmick if you wanna do that. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to build it, right? Uh, just load your wallet up with your favorite cards and gaffs and you're good to go. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Hey, the Nexus wallet easily does two things you want every Magic wallet to do, peak information and load cards. Plus, the almost four hour tutorial is staggering. Javier gives you so many ideas it's insane. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? Um, I already said that I wished it was real leather, right? I wish it was real leather. Uh, second, I wished it came with a glide. Uh, glides wouldn't be that expensive. And I would just offer maybe go buy a sheet of the uh, security window plastic, probably uh, from 3M and just cut out your own glide. And I, I think you'll be good to go. Um, the other thing that I thought uh, just and, and this isn't, I mean, it's, it's, I'm going to put it in the negative section, but it's not a negative, but I'm just, it's just a, let's just call it a heads up. Okay. A heads up. Um, in the trailer, you see Javier's Nexus card in the window. And then in, in, even in this video, you've seen my business card in the window, a business card won't actually fit in the window. It's made to fit an ID. So if you look at your ID, your, dri your driver's license, well, your driver's license in America, um, that's the only one I've got for reference. <laughs> and then your business card, you hold them side by side, you'll see the difference in the size uh, right away. So if you wanna stick your business card in the window like I did, you will need to trim it to get it in there. Now that's not to say it won't work for billets um, because if the billet slides in that same window and it does hang out a little bit, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So is it worth your money? Like I said, it's $110. And hopefully uh, you've been able to watch this review to decide if that's gonna be worth it for you. And I would also suggest don't just watch this video. Don't. There's plenty of other magic reviews out there, including Craig Petty 
Magic TV. I know he got this wallet too. He said some great things about it. Make sure you go over and check out his review as well. And I'm sure because of its popularity and you know, I know Murphy's wants to get the word out there. I'm sure a lot of other reviewers are gonna start doing this one as well. So there'll be plenty of videos to watch uh, so that you can get the best opinion so that you can get all the information and you can make the best possible choice. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching my review for the Nexus wallet. I want to thank Javier Fuemir and Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news. You can join this channel. That's right. You can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight, eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world. You will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck ninety-nine, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right, a hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos, top 10 lists, best of the year, head to head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says join. Click the join button and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.